Alright, I'm dumb. I figured out what I did in the last one and why the aim is a little off. <laughs> so what we need to do, we need to go to where we got our camera set up. And we actually need to parent the fire from to our follow camera. But once we do that, there's another few things we need to do. So since our camera is going to shift, once we go into aim mode, if we just leave that right there, this will be way off. So what we need to do is we need to set our camera boom to what it is when we're in aim mode. Set my socket off, set 50, and then you'll see now this fire from is way up there. We don't want that. So in my event graph, Let's see, it's 75 on the socket offset. So we just need to set our camera boom to what it is when we're in aim mode. Adjust our fire from, which I'm going to go ahead and set her animation asset back to that. And then, let's see, move it right here from the front, set it right here, compile that. So now when we're in aim mode, this will be right here. And when we fire the arrow, all we want to do is we, we just want to get this transform. So since it'll be attached to the camera, it'll rotate as the camera rotates. So we'll get transform get world transform and just hook it just like that so now I'm gonna set my camera boom back to what it was 300 and zero set my animation back to my blueprint and now let's hop in whoa alright but the good thing about it now is now in order to adjust our aim, we'll go back into perspective, you can just kind of rotate this uh, that fire from. So if I equip the bow now and fire So you can just kind of tweak it as you need to, like I just need to go a little bit further that way. And then now we're getting closer and closer. I went a little too far though. So back about like that, maybe. So you just kind of got to play with it and figure out where the right, where that sweet spot is. That looks good. That's decent. So yeah, that's where I went wrong. But now she can shoot. Oh, she can jump while shooting can't she well, let's fix that while we're at it so event graph from our jump let's see instead of doing attack say no we need to do that one um, we'll just add and we'll add that fire arrow so if she's firing arrow, it'll register as true, and then we can't. So just to make sure, let's check it one more time. Yep. All right, well, there's a good little fix. So that was the problem. 
All right, just a quick one this time. So in the next one, we'll actually set up some uh, balloons using the FX Variety Pack. Uh, we'll set up some rotating and floating balloons to shoot at in order to test the character's aim out a little bit further. But for now, just a quick little add-on to the aiming and the firing. So yeah, see y'all soon.